Hi, and thanks for joining me on the Kestrel Omnitech YouTube channel. If you like this content, please do subscribe. Today I'll be doing an unboxing of the Xilinx ZCU-106 Evaluation Kit, which I'm going to be borrowing for a little bit. So let's open it up. We've got some information about tool versions. We have a quick start guide. And it's got instructions in it for running the built-in self-test. And then on the back, we've got a Vivado Design Tools license voucher. And I'm not going to show you my voucher code. So we'll save this for later. In the kit, we have got an SD card, a USB cable, another USB cable, an Ethernet cable, a USB hub, an ATX power supply adapter, and the power supply for the board. Now we have the star of the show, the ZCU-106 board. So the ZCU-106 evaluation kit is considerably more expensive than the ZCU-104 kit, which is the other one that allows you to try the video codec unit or VCU. So what's the difference between the two boards? Both boards have the same FPGA on them, the XCZU7EV which is under the fan here. But the ZCU-106 does give you a lot more on the board. The ZCU-106 has VDR4 on both the PL and the PS side. The ZCU-104 only has a socket for the PL side VDR. This is the PL VDR on the ZCU-106. The ZCU-106 gives you access to more transceivers. You have these B and C connectors here. You have some SMA connectors there. You have two SFP cages here. And there's an additional FMC connector on the ZCU-106. There's also ARM Trace, which is this connector here. And you can put the ZCU-106 into a x4 PCIe slot. Here are the PCIe fingers. And that's what you would use this ATX power supply adapter for. I'm looking forward to trying stuff on the ZCU-106 in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching.